Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, I know I've been MIA for a while. Um, I was worried because I got a copyright strike on one of my videos and it freaked me out a bit. So I just didn't come back to the channel and I decided that I didn't want to throw this channel in the trash. I put a lot of hard work into it and you know I have a lot of people that were depending on my videos and wanting to get into modding and I recently had a spurt and got back into it pretty hard so I am back um, we're gonna be doing something a little interesting today it is gonna be a long video and it is gonna be a little tedious um, so have patience with it but it's so worth it you'll love it um, we're gonna be learning how to import a custom vehicle into Halo 3 so we're gonna go from the beginning to the end on how to get a custom vehicle in and then I'm going to showcase some of my cars that I've made recently. They're super sick. I love them. And yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. All right, so we're going to do the first half of the project. Um, it's going to be a couple steps to get started. And then from there, we will go into all the details and things you got to do to make the car functional. I'll be showing you what to do in Blender and then what to do in Gorilla. So if you haven't seen my video on how to set up your Halo 3 mod tools, I really recommend going and watching that. I'll leave a link in the description. And um, it's important because if you don't have that set up, you can't really do all of this. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, what we're going to do first is I'm going to show you how to extract the render model of the Warthog. Because we're going to be using the Warthog as a base for the vehicle. You can make your own if you animate it and things like that. But I haven't gotten to that point yet. I just use the Warthog as a base. And then we'll go from there. So what we're going to do first is open a Soyuz. You should have this if you followed my setup video. And then we're going to hit open command in toolkit folder. So as you can see here. Command prompt is open. First thing we're going to do is type tool and put a space. Then we're going to type extract dash import dash info. So now we got that part done. What we're going to do is go to our Halo 3 directory, our Halo 3 editing directory to be specific. We're going to go to tags, objects, vehicles, and then we are going to go to the Warthog. As you can see here, there's a bunch of files. What we want is the render model. We're going to extract that. So, I'm going to copy this half right here. You're going to copy tags, objects, vehicles, warthog. And you're going to paste it here. Then we're going to add another backslash. And then we're going to type warthog dot render underscore model. Then it'll do its thing. Boom. So now we have this file called a JMS, which we can open in Blender. Okay, so, okay, so what we're going to be doing now is setting up our workspace. So all of these right here are vehicles that I've downloaded for free off of the internet, just from like CG Trader, um, Sketchfab, things like that. So you can find plenty of vehicles. There is a poly limit, so don't go crazy with the polys. Anything like 70 or below should be fine. Um, but yeah, don't get anything super high poly because it won't work. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to put in a vehicle. So I'm going to import it real quick. Where is FBX? And we'll go up here to my car. It's going to be the CVPI. I'm going to put a cop car in. I think it's pretty neat. It's going to be pretty cool. So, we have the car in. Now we're going to import our Warthog. So you're going to go to JMS. And then you are going to go... I'll show you step by step just so you know. You're going to go to your Halo 3 editing kit directory. Mine is right here. And then we are going to go to data, objects, vehicles, and Warthog. 
then you are going to open the render folder and then import the warthog.jms. Give it a sec. There we go. So yeah, your model is going to be much less large and you're going to have to scale it up. So we're going to do that real quick. Should be about good. I personally like to hide all of these render thingies. I forget what they're called. The render spheres. Just because they're in the way and it's hard to see when you're doing the import. So Okay. So we're going to take our cop car. Again, this can be any car that you want. It doesn't have to be the same as mine. Um, and we're going to line it up as best as we can with our warthog. Beautiful. This model is going to work pretty well because it aligns. Just want to get it as perfect as you can. You want it to be pretty even. Sometimes it won't be, but it should work still. It just might be a tiny bit janky. So, Okay. That should do. Should be okay. I'm a little nitpicky about it, but... All right. So now we have the models together and they are aligned. What I usually do is once it's aligned, I move the Warthog out of the way just to have it on the side. And we are going to get started with the conversion process. Okay. So what we are going to do now is probably do the region maps first. Um, or not the region maps, the vertex groups. So as you see over here, when I click the Warthog and you click this little data tab, we have a bunch of vertex groups. These are assignments to the model for the vertices, so the game can recognize what part is what. So like if I select left back tire, I'll take a look over here, the left back tire is selected. Left back suspension, boom, suspension. So, these are important. These are very, very important. If you do them wrong, your model will look all jacked up or it won't function properly. So, definitely keep that in mind. Now, what we're going to do is we don't need the engine, the suspension. We just need the hole and the wheels. So, I'm going to go here. Don't know why this is not attached, so let me fix this real quick. Oh god, I'm hitting a bunch of shit. Okay. We're going to move this guy down. And I'm going to join these just because I want them to be on the car. So we're going to hit Control J for this process. You probably won't need to do that. Now I'm going to have to reset my position because the vehicle was moved. Perfect, that looks about good. I'm going to move this guy back. Now what we're going to do is assign the vertex groups. So first off, what I like to do is the tires and the wheels. We'll do Control L. And that basically highlights everything. I'm going to switch to face mode. Get rid of all these faces that are marked. Because we don't need these. Actually, we'll do this. Boom. Control L. Control L. Control L. I think I had a vertice highlighted. Or a face. So, we have our front white right wheel selected. We're going to do a new vertex group. We're going to name it B underscore, this is the right, so RF tire, and we are going to assign it. So, if you deselect and select, it should be assigned. Now we're going to go over here, boom, control L, 
that wheel is selected and then we're going to do b underscore lf sorry rb tire and then we are going to assign it as usual so we should select it and it should pop up then we are going to go over here control l just to select everything by the way that's why i'm doing that and then we're going to do b underscore lb underscore tire we're going to assign it boom that's assigned and then we're going to do control l again I'm repeating the steps just so you really understand what the process is, make it more clear for you. And then we're going to do B underscore LF underscore tire. Assign. Boom. So all of our wheels are assigned. What I like to do is do the region maps as well while I'm doing this. Just to clarify, you need to have the Blender add-on for the Halo tools. I'll link that in the description as well. But it's very important that you have that because it gives us the Halo region option. So we're going to go, we're going to select the right front tire. Go down to the regions. Now this one's a little different. It's called base. And then we're going to do LF underscore wheel. Then we're going to assign that. Boom. Then we're going to do this one. Base. LB. Wheel. Sign. Then we're going to do the left. Oh, I did the right. Sorry. Just fix that. RB. RF. Boom. Make sure those are assigned, right front, right back. Then we're going to do the left back. Just make sure that you hit... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm dying. Sorry, guys. Okay. So go ahead and make sure that you're hitting select. And then you're going to go down here, base... LB wheel underscore LB LB underscore wheel and then make sure that it's assigned up here and then we are going to select sign and we should go over here and it is assigned so if I deselect and select it's there then we're going to do the same thing for the left front base LF underscore wheel boom assign and we're all good there. Now what we need to do is the body and the hull of the vehicle. So what we're going to do if this works should be easy. Control L. Get every part of it. Control L. Make sure you get the entire body of the car or this will mess up your vehicle. Just so you know, make sure you're not on the tires at all. Control L, look for any black. Control L. Go down here, Control L. Do the underneath. Boom, 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 boom. Control L. Make sure you have everything that you want the body to be. Because this is important. Control L. Awesome. So, I think we have everything. Maybe one guy right here that we need. And these two, you can switch to face mode as well. It works just the same. And Control L. Boom. That is the entirety of the vehicle selected. Maybe not. Boom. Control L. You got to really be meticulous and make sure you get every single part of the car or you're going to have issues. You want all of it selected. Okay. Get the back stuff. Little details. Control L. And I think we are good.
I'll find out once I put the vehicle in. So we're going to go into the next part. Okay. So now we have everything on our body selected. You want the entirety of the body. Not any of the tires. We don't need those. Now you're going to do B underscore hole for your vertex groups. And you are going to assign it. Then we're going to go down to the regions. And we're going to do base hole. And we're going to assign it. So theoretically, this vehicle is ready to be put into the game. This is the base stuff that you need to do. Um, hopefully this isn't too many verts. If it is, I'll show you a trick on how to split the verts up so the game will put it in. What we're going to do now is we're going to take this guy and we are going to delete it. You can also hide it. It's up to you. Boom. Now we're going to take our vehicle. I'm going to rename it just for convenience sake. And we're going to shift, click, and drag, and set the parent to the armature. So like that. Boom. It's in there. All of these markers are important. We'll go over those in a little bit. So, vehicle is in. We're going to export it as a JMS. Go ahead and go to your data folder where we opened up the warthog. I personally like to make my own directory when I'm modding just for clean sake. I would not put it in objects and then vehicles. You can if you want, but I recommend making your own. I just named it after my username. We're going to switch the game title to Halo 3. I'm going to open my directory where I made my own stuff. You want to have a levels objects folder, depends on what you're making. Objects for vehicles and weapons, levels for obviously levels. So we're going to open up objects. We're going to go to vehicles. Make sure you make a vehicles folder. Make a folder for the name of your vehicle. So I'm going to make a CVPI folder. Boom. Now we want to do another folder. We're going to call it render, and then we want one called bitmaps, which is going to be your textures. Right now, it's not going to have any textures on it. We just want to make sure that it gets in the game properly. So, we're going to name this CVPI, boom, export JMS. Give it a sec. Perfect. Now, we're going to go to a soy use. We're going to go to import model, browse. We're going to go to data. I'm going to go to my directory. Yours is going to be different, of course. Rx King, objects, vehicles. Then I'm going to go to my CVPI. And we just want this folder open. You're not going to open the render folder or else it won't work. Just make sure you're in your vehicle's base folder. And then we are going to import the model. Might be too many verts. Ignore all the errors. Those should be fine. Let's see if it's too many verts. Might be it's hanging a bit, so we'll see. It's taking its sweet time. Yes, so it was definitely too many verts. So there are ways that we can get around that. So what we're going to do now is we are first going to tab, get all of our vehicles selected, clean up, merge by distance. So that got rid of 248 vertices. Now what we're going to do is we have the whole hole selected, right? We are going to do a trick with the game to get this imported properly. So we are going to select the hole and then we're going to remove it. We're going to remove this as well. Just keep in, keep in mind what I'm doing here. Don't freak out. This is normal. And this is going to help you get more vehicles in that are more high poly, basically. Um, now what we're going to do is shift. And we're going to select half of the vehicle. Boom. So now what we're going to do 
is assign this to B hole and base hole. So now when you select it, it should only be half of the car, which is what we want. So we're going to select that, and then we are going to go to select invert, and we are going to add something to the vertex groups. It's going to be B underscore F underscore hole. And then we're going to assign that. Then we're going to go down here. We're going to make base space F underscore hole. And then we're going to assign it. So now what we're going to do is try and re-import it and see if it'll import. We're going to export it again. Perfect. Let it do its thing. Beautiful. Then we're going to go to a Soyuz import model and it should work. I've done a higher poly car so we'll see how it goes. It's loading a little better, we'll see. And there we go. It worked. Sweet. So now we're going to move on to the next part. Okay. So for this part, we want Gorilla open and you want Sapien open so you can test one of the vehicles and make sure that it actually spawns in your game. So we're going to do a couple things here. We're going to go to tags because we compiled the car, right? So it's going to be in our tags folder now. It's not going to be in data. We're going to go to RX King. Again, your name folder is going to be different. This is just mine so I don't overwrite any of the default tags objects vehicles and then we have our cvpi here what i like to do as a little cheat sheet is take vehicle tags and use them as the base so since we did the warthog we're going to go to tags objects vehicles warthog now what you need is the warthog collision model Warthog.model, Warthog.model animation graph, Warthog.physics uh, model, and Warthog.vehicle. Had a little stroke there, my bad. We're going to control C, go to our vehicles, go to our CVPI folder, control V, F2, CVPI. Boom. Now we're going to make a folder called shaders which is what we're going to use for our textures later. Now what we're going to do is go into Gorilla. We're going to go to cvpi.vehicle. We're going to open with the little three dots right here. Then we're going to go to tags, back to my folder, your folder, whichever, vehicles, objects, vehicles, and then cvpi. We're going to open cvpi.model. So it should be highlighted here. Perfect. Then we're going to go to open. And we're going to do the same thing, but with the render model. So we're going to go to tags, my folder, objects, vehicles, cvpi, and then we're going to import the render model. Now, if everything works correctly, we might have to make our own physics model, but we'll get to that. We're going to be hitting control S on this, control S on this. I'm going to open Sapien. Those are all my cars, but I don't want to show you yet. I want to keep those a surprise. We're going to go to scenario, objects, units, vehicles, edit types, add. Then we're going to go up one because it's going to take you to the vehicles tab. Up one. Then we're going to go to your folder objects, vehicles, cvpi, and cvpi.vehicle. Okay, so it looks good. It's not going to be collidable, but we can fix that. Then we're going to hit cvpi, and okay, that's what I thought. So we have an invalid physics model. I'm going to show you guys how to make a physics model for your vehicle right now. We're going to go up a directory. You should still be in yours. We're going to make a new folder called physics. Then we're going to open this, export JMS. Then we're going to go to a Soyuz, import model, physics. Boom, we got it. Now let's see if our model works. 
still does not. So there's either an issue with the physics model or there is an issue with your collision. Common thing, which I didn't show you, is under your armature, you want to delete all of these markers. You don't need them. Boom. Now, I didn't show you this intentionally because I know people are going to do this. So this is a step that you have to have before you import your physics model. Go to your base model, which is this right here. Put a money symbol in front of it, the cash symbol. Then we're going to re-export it. Boom. Then we are going to go to a Soyuz. Import the model again. Boom. Let's see if it works. Still does not. So what we need to do is probably make a collision model for it because I don't think that's going to work. Actually, we don't need to do that. I missed a step. So open your model. Open your Warthog collision model. Not, sorry, not collision. Physics. And then you're going to go to tags, RX King, objects. Yours is not going to be RX King again. Just make your own own folder. CVPI, CVPI physics model, control S. And there we go. We have our vehicle in the game now. And he is looking beautiful. Now if you want the turret gone, of course, you're going to go to your CVPI.model. So we're going to go here just to show you. Open. And we're going to go down here for a little bit and you're going to see objects. Just go ahead and delete that. Save. And now if we go in to Sapien, the turret is gone. Just to test it, let's make sure it drives. And it does. The wheels are a little jacked up. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's an animation issue. So we'll go over that in another video. But your wheels should be fine. I believe it's probably a placement issue of the bones. Or it is an animation issue. So. Your vehicle should now be in the game. And since this video is so long. I'm going to be splitting it up into probably two or three. But by this point you should have your own model in the game. You should be able to go through this process, get your vehicle in the game, and be able to drive it. If there are issues with your physics model or your collision model, it might be because your vehicle doesn't exactly align with the Warthog. If it doesn't align with the Warthog, you're going to have issues. You can't have offset models or things like that. It just causes issues. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was informative and fun, and I love to see what you guys make. I'd love to see some YouTube links or maybe on the Discord, you know what I mean? So, thank you guys for watching.